Hi everyone. If like me you're still learning about making 3D cards, then you'll have met the envelope problem. So many measurements and confusing instructions. I've watched lots of videos and taken bits from various methods and produced something which works simply for me and I hope it does for you too. So the first thing that you need is a scoreboard and I had one for Christmas complete with the envelope triangle although a set square would do very nicely and of course you will need your trusty ruler. Now it's actually only two measurements needed, the diagonal length across your card and the depth you want for the box part of the envelope. So if you take the diagonal length, add two extra centimetres and twice the depth of the box, which in my case I'm using one and a half centimetre depth, and you just add them together and then you make a square in whatever paper you're using for the envelope. Now here I've got my butterfly card that I want to make an envelope for and I'm just showing the depth that I want which is about one and a half centimetres, you can judge for your own. And I'm measuring the diagonal length which for this is going to be 19 centimetres. So adding the 2 and the 3 gives me 24 centimetres. So I cut out a piece of cartridge paper 24, inches, 24 centimetres square. And what I'm doing is taking the widest bit of the card and just taking it up till it meets the envelope triangle and the, the edge of the card. I'm just checking it's perpendicular with my ruler. Then I'm going to score, allowing just a little bit of a millimetre or two either side at the level that that card rested against the triangle. It doesn't matter how you position the triangle, but just make sure on the opposite side you score it at the same place. So that's those sides done. Then what you've got to do is turn your card round to the sides you haven't done and take the narrow side of your card and once again put it up to the triangle and then up to the card and score once again noting the point on your envelope triangle where you need to score. And do it exactly the same position on the opposite side and in fact this is all you'd need to do for a plain envelope with no depth. You would just cut out those mini triangles and fold it. But obviously we do want the depth and I want about one and a half centimetres or thereabouts, one and a bit really. So I'm just measuring it and I'm scoring it and you're going to have to make these train tracks at one and a bit centimetres for me um, all the way around, so on all four sides. And you'll see that your triangles are intersecting and you're starting to get double triangles. And that's okay because I'll show you how I'm going to be cutting those out shortly. So I'm just working my way around each side and trying to keep that measurement pretty accurate. And there you have it. It's laid out with its double tracks and I'm just checking that the card actually fits, which it does, so that's good. Now I'm going to be cutting out these triangles here and I do it so that I've got to work out which is my top and which is going to be my bottom and I'm going to cut out the large triangles for the top because I don't want any overhang but at the bottom I'm doing the small green triangles and then just snipping up that purple line and that actually gives me little tags which I can stick underneath the box and just strengthen those corners because if you are posting then it can be quite important to reinforce. So now I'm back with my card and I'm actually going to be doing the bottom first so I'm cutting out that little triangle that you can see quite clearly on the card and I'm actually going to be snipping that edge too. So there goes the triangle and then I've got my little tab that I'm going to stick underneath and I do exactly the same on the opposite side. So this is going to be the bottom of my card. Now when it comes to the top of the card then I'm just going to be cutting out the outer big triangles very simply and do that either side and basically you've got your box card ready to roll. So I'm just folding it along all the score lines, making sure I've got the depths on the sides as well as the folds on the top. And I'm just quickly winging my way around it when it hasn't escaped from me. And there it goes. Now I'm just doing a little mock-up to show you how it will fit together. And there are those tabs, which I usually trim a little, but I stick underneath and it just gives reinforcement. You don't have to do it. Now I'm taking my actual card envelope and I'm sticking it together with my double-sided tape. And I've already made a mistake because I've taken the tape right to the top, which is very silly. But in fact, I'm just going to fold it inwards and it makes quite a neat edge. So what was a disaster actually is turned into no problem at all. And then I'm just going to be sticking the bottom on my 
cards here just to show you and I use PVA glue because the depth isn't really that great to put my tape on and I'm just sticking them in place might need to hold them down for just a few seconds and then it's done and then all you've got to do then is take your card and slot it into your envelope plenty of room for my butterflies and there you have it a nice neat envelope that takes your card so thank you so much for watching and I do let me know if you find it as simple as I do now so I'll hope to see you on my blog site. Thanks for watching. Bye.